Welcome everyone, it's Sherry Carroll for SimonSaysStamp.com and I'm here with my last art journal page for the year. Kind of makes me sad, but it makes me also excited to get started on a new one. So here are some of the pages that I've created and I've done many different styles and had fun with a lot of different techniques and I finally ended up doing a traditional Christmas one. But today I want to do something that's a little less traditional and uh, really die cutty to represent December. So I'm going to start off with a Dina Wakely tag. And this has a reinforcer at the top. And a lot of times I remove that, but for this technique that I'll be doing, I'm going to leave it in place. So to get this tag started, I'm using the Tim Holtz wood grain embossing folder. And I'm just going to emboss my tag. You want to make sure that you have the right side that you want to use and I'm just going to push that all the way to the top and close off the folder and then run this through my die cut machine. And this folder gives me a really nice deep embossed wood grain pattern. Next I want to add a little bit of color to the tag and I'm working in some frayed burlap and I'm using the Simon Says Stamp Mocha brush. The more color that you add, more of that wood grain will show through but I just want to make this a light beige color. And next I am taping down my tag onto the back of this stencil and this is the twinkling stencil. It has lots of stars and little diamonds. The paste I'm using is Tim Holtz Distress Sparkle which dries clear and it has a really nice fine glitter. So I'm just going to use my palette knife and scoop out just a little bit and I want to touch this really gently and I don't want to squish it in too bad since I do have this paper embossed. Once I've finished adding my paste, I'm going to gently pull this away from the tape and do a quick dismount. And then I'll wash up my stencil real quick to remove the paste. And now I'm just removing that tape from the back and I'll let this sit and dry completely before I move on. And now that the paste is dry, you can see the raised stars and they shimmer with that glitter and also that clear base. To start off my die cutting, I'm using the Festive Gatherings from Tim Holtz and Sizzix. And this has a lot of nice greens and also berries to work with. And I've pulled a selection of colors out from the cool craft stock papers from Tim Holtz, along with some of his classic sparkle craft stock, and also some Simon Says Stamp matte silver. I've pre die cut some of my branches, and I've used some browns and greens for the pine boughs, and also some silver, and also some green and brown for the mistletoe, and then just plain greens for some holly. But I've also cut some of the um, silver craft stock, which is really nice and sparkly. And I'll be adding those as the berries to the holly rather than red. I've also die cut the word joy and I've used the gold sparkle craft stock and it will sit in the center of my tag. Some of the berries have little tiny dots in them and I'm just poking those out with my pierce tool and my pad from Simon Says Stamp. And to glue the berries onto the stem, I'm using the Simon Says Stamp Craft Tacky Glue and my placing tool. And this is really easy to work with, especially when you have some paper pieces. You can scoot them around and place them with the same tool. Some people ask about my glue. I just keep it upside down with a baby wipe in a little jar. And this keeps it ready to go for the next time I want to use it. Now that I have my berries fixed up and ready to go, I can start gluing on all my layers. So again, with my craft tacky glue, I'm just gluing some of the portions of that pine bough. And then I can set this in place onto my tag and I wanna make sure that I have that hole cleared to add some ribbon later. And next is a little branch that has separate leaves. So it is a brown branch with green leaves and I'm just gonna set this right on top of that pine. Next I'll be adding a pine bough and I've cut this from the Simon Says Stamp Silver cardstock and I haven't added any extra layers. So I'm just adding a little bit of glue in some of the main areas. Oh, and I did trim off a little bit of the bottom stem so that I can just kind of match these up together and then I'll have that joy sitting on top when we're done. 
I will be lifting the joy up from the tag and to do that I'm using some of our foam roll tape and I'm cutting this in half using my everyday scissors and I really love these scissors because of the long reach. This joy is really tall and thin and so cutting little strips is really optimal so that I don't have to use a lot of small foam squares. Okay, I've added my foam tape to the back and I'm just removing some of the backing from that O area. I like to work from the center and then move my way out. But for my placement, I don't pull off all the tape at once. I can just set this right down, right where I want it, and I can press that O down. And then I can go back in and remove the rest of the tape. Before I remove the rest of the backing from the Joy Word, I'm just adding a little bit of glue to the back of another one of my branches. And I'll be placing this just under the hook of the J so that I can see the little berries just up above slightly and off to the side. And now I can reach under each of the edges of my letters and I can pull off the rest of that adhesive backing and press those letters down. I'm also adding a little subtext and this is from the Kathy Zelsky Typed Christmas and this is the reverse. And I've trimmed this down to a nice thin piece and I'm using my Simon Says Stamp glue to glue this down in piece just across the bottom of the joy. And to finish this off, I've run some ribbons and twines through the hole and tied those in a simple knot at the top. And here's a look at my finished tag. It has that nice elegant glimmer and shine to it, but it's also really natural with those greens and the joy. So this completes my tag book for 2023. I can't wait to get started on a new one. I do have all my supplies listed in the description box below, along with a link to our blog post for more information. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Hi there, I'm Heidi, Simon's mama and founder at simonsaysstamp.com. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you like what you just saw, be sure to press the thumbs up and subscribe to see more great content.